accusing you of anything. <laughs> uh, but please behave yourselves. But don't behave yourselves. Does it does it make any sense? Uh, I don't know anymore. But this is uh, the little program where I get to have some fun and blow off a little steam from my weekly activities. And today I'm gonna talk to a good friend of mine, Omar, for our, my Instagram interview. Then we're gonna do my favorite memes. And then I think we're just gonna scoot out the door. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Uh, I don't like to waste time. So let's get right into the program. We're gonna get it going with my Instagram interview. All right, this is the part of the show where we sit down with one of our good friends. Uh, and of course, uh, it's my Instagram interview is what we call the segment. And this guy I've known for quite some time. He's quite the character. He's quite the man. He's quite the the husband, father, the lover, all that good stuff, man. You're just a well-rounded good dude, I got to say. Omar, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, my brother. I really appreciate you, appreciate the love and the support. And, uh, you know, always uh, spreading good, uh, uh, you know, camaraderie and connections and, you know, that's all we're about, you know, it's just a collective and uh, we want to unify and we're lucky that we had uh, the experiences that got us connected together and, you know, we continue to thrive, you know? Yeah. It's amazing how people come together. We came together on a show we did called the rolling review and um, it just, you know, we stayed in touch uh, even after that project. And I always kind of like to know what you're up to and uh, what's going on. And, um, of course, you know, I've been striving to do this very thing right here <laughs> for a while, mm -hmm. just, just to have an outlet to talk to people. And, and, you know, like you said, the good vibes were always the things that we tried to portray when we, we would do our projects together. And, um, I always loved the words of wisdom that you threw my way, uh, during those projects. And we had some good times, man. We had some good people on that program and some people that aren't with us anymore, you know, even. Right. so, right. Right. Yeah. It, it was really an experience and, uh, you know, it, it was an exciting time and it was, a uh, you know, a trailblazing time and we were lucky to be in that position and, uh, be able to kind of carry that load and, uh, you know, connect people and create, uh, you know, love and, and respect and appreciation. You know, that's all that we all want, you know? So we, we, uh, when we were doing the rolling review, it was a good time and we were trailblazing. I mean, we were really doing yeah. stuff that nobody else uh, was doing, which was great. And, um, it'll be neat to look back on it 10 years from now and go, remember that? Holy crap. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I mean, it's definitely legendary. Yeah. Omar, tell the people kind of what you're doing now. What, what's uh, what's uh, you working with some people I know, actually. Um, what's the name of the company and what are you guys doing right now? Yeah, well, uh, trichomehempfarms.com. Uh, and then the code that you need to know is COCO. Uh, and, uh, oh, you oh. know, we that's right. Uh, spreading the love of the healing of the, the wonderful plant, the cannabis plant. Uh, we have uh, several products. We have CBG products, CBD products, muscle creams. So just uh, things that, uh, you know, uh, create natural healing, uh, natural earth medicine, you yeah. know, and uh, yeah. just uh, getting it connected with good people from a good source, uh, you know, good products uh, and just uh, spreading healing. Yeah, you know when you know the CBD is the craze, right? Uh, everybody yeah. talks about CBD, CBD, CBD. Now, I, there's good CBD and bad CBD, as far as I'm sure. concerned. And um, kind, kind of clarify that for me a little bit. Well, you know, it all starts with the process and kind of uh, what what the producers are focused on. You know, uh, when we're talking about us in particular, you know, we've had a, a long history of craft cultivation, so we really focus on producing quality uh, flower that produces these wonderful cannabinoids that are healing to our system. Uh, and funny enough, we have this uh, natural occurring endocannabinoid system that is a full body receptor system that uh, receives this healing uh, and uh, you know uptakes it through our system. And uh, there's several studies uh, and science is proving uh, luckily now, uh, all the results, and there's a multitude of them, you know, it's a plethora, the list goes on uh, from 
you know, yeah. anti-inflam- anti-inflammatory uh, to, you know, bone growth stimulation. I hear about know? two things all the time. I'm just yeah. flabbergasted. Now, CBD is great. It works. It's, uh, it serves its purpose. What is CBG? Somebody might not know what that is. CBG is another cannabinoid. Um, it's actually a, a precursor to a lot of the cannabinoids. So it's kind of like an igniter of uh, potential, mm-hmm. if you want to say. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of, you know, a lot of the cannabinoids work as kind of lock and key to one another. So uh, they kind of help open up uh, the door for for the uptake and utilization within the body. So CBG is definitely that. And, and then CBG definitely has its own characteristics and qualities. Uh, like I just mentioned previously, is, uh, it's been linked to bone growth stimulation, uh, yeah. helping... Uh, you know, people with arthritis or uh, potentially osteoarthritis uh, or osteoporosis. Uh, so there's a lot of, um, you know, applications. It's just very versatile. Uh, it's universal. Um, and that's why uh, we continue to, you know, uh, introduce but, people to do it because we want to share the quality and the, uh, the healing that yeah. it provides. What's the best way to ingest CBD? I hear people say, oh, gummies this, and I like to smoke it, or I like this, I like that. What's your, what is your favorite method, or what do you think is the best method for using, you know, those types of products? Well, I think it all ends up uh, being really what is the most effective for the person. You know, yeah. each metabolism, each body, each system is different. And uh, you have to be in tune and understand and feel, uh, you know, the, um, the, uh, the effects within you and, and manage that uh, and, and applicate, uh, uh, you know, whatever you need in whichever way. So if it's effective uh, in an edible form, that's great. Um, and if uh, it's effective on a topical method, that's great. Uh, but uh, my my main suggestion is always experiment and test. And uh, the more directions you can uh, utilize it, the the more you will have that saturation, uh, so that the body can uh, really get the benefit from it. So, mm-hmm. for instance, like an oil, uh, you could take it both, uh, you know, as an edible, like for example, a tincture, you know, under the tongue or with some kind of food or snack. And tinctures work pretty quick, right? Yeah, they work very quick. And then you can also apply that topically also on any element that you might have, you know, um, a a local or specific area that you want to target. So yeah, I was always wondering about that. I mean, I, uh, you know, doing CBD, like a tincture oil or something topically never Mm -hmm. seemed to work as good for me as when I use like a cream. So I don't, you know, it's kind of weird. Like you said, your body bodies are different and people are different and, Sometimes one thing that works perfect for somebody else might not work so perfect for somebody else. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, tinctures for me were always the way that I like to dose those types of things, especially for pain, um, you know, managing pain and things like that. Uh, those, those droppers are fantastic. I think those work fast, but any new technologies or anything coming out um, that we should know about, like in, any other new methods of, uh, you know, ingesting it or any new methods of delivery of it. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious how, where this industry is going to, you know, go. you know, the funny thing about cannabis is so versatile that I think the the technology and the, the research is going to find so much, there's going to be so many applications, you know, it's yeah. not going to stop, you know, just like the, the vigor of the plant, you know, when you see plant actually growing, it just doesn't stop. It finds a way to grow. It finds a way to come back. You know, it finds a way to produce. Um, so that kind of that kind of micro example, it, it kind of expands in a micro uh, way, uh, you know. And um, it, you know, there's things coming out all the time, you know. And and it's just testing and and learning more. And we're just going to keep learning more. I think we haven't even really scratched the surface you know? Yeah. To tell you the truth, because we've been under so much uh, restriction. Gotcha. So for, for Trichome, what are you out there doing? Are you just out there pushing uh, the message and uh, the product? Um, We're pushing the, the message and the product. We have several wonderful products. 
for example, uh, this is the muscle cream that I was talking about here. Yeah, I like that. If you could see that, I can see Tricone Farms. I like that. Um, now we have uh, different, uh, you know, different sizes. Uh, these are our tinctures. Yep, I like that. Um, I've actually CBG, uh, attained one CBD. Of I like that. Um, when it comes to CBD and CBG, now can we ship that around the country, um, or does it have to stay in Oregon? What do we? What, what's going on with that? Yes, uh, it is. Uh, you can ship. Um, it is uh, federally legal. It was legalized federally on a federal level, meaning uh, all over the nation. So there's nationwide shipping. Great. And that's available through the website. Um, yeah. Obviously, if anybody's interested in trying some kind of private labeling or wholesale, they can contact me and we can talk about that too. Excellent. So uh, this is really, uh, you know, this is really about uh, the plant and producing quality uh products and medicine and uh, just sending it out there for for people to uh to uh, try and uh, and uh, see the effects and the wonders that it brings to everybody you know yeah and being able to like go to texas like you are now and be able to talk about it there it, it, that's amazing to me you know that's amazing because it wasn't so long ago where texas was you know <laughs> you don't want to get caught with anything and cbd this or cbd that now it's it seems like it's becoming wide open. What are the rules in Texas? Well, it's amazing. I mean, you, there's really a lot of uh, stores that are open. Uh, you know, you could just see, you know, the, the saturation of the, and the excitement of this product, you know. Um, and uh, there's, you know, several little markets and even, you know, I mean, it's on a, on a corporate scale, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of these uh, um, grocery stores and other wow. you know, shopping outlets that are carrying cbd wow. so it's it's just spreading like wildfire and and it should you know how far we've should. come we've come so yeah. far i can't wait to see what the next couple of years are going to be like it's going to be amazing so um well we talk business and stuff what are you doing for fun nowadays what are you doing uh, what do you go do for fun what, what's what's up what do you do for fun my brother we're always uh, you know venturing out and checking out i, I love nature personally you know, yeah. i like to yeah. tap in back to nature and and just enjoy the elements and, and heal from that. You know, mm -hmm. I love the, the coast and, uh, uh, you know, just being by the ocean and the water, you know, and, and just the more of those elements that I can combine at one time, you know, creating some kind of vortex of, of, you know, healing and receiving, yeah. you know, so, you know, just, just connecting with that, you know, and, uh, other than that, you know, just a lot of, you know, continued, uh, you know, education and research i mean there's there's endless information out there and it's so beautiful to always keep learning and expanding the mind and you know yeah that's it. And, and and just improving you know uh mm -hmm. you know nobody uh has got the the magic method everybody's always trying to you know do better and uh, you know we're all kind of we're all kind of balanced and we got to realize that that uh yeah. there's really nobody that's better than anybody you know, it's, it's, everybody's got their ups, everybody's got their downs and we just got to continue to uh, aim forward and, uh, you know, provide and, and create joy. You know, that's all we want, you know, yeah, joy. That's a uh, joy and peace for me. I mean, those are the two big things. And, you know, I got to say, uh, I just, uh, I hope that's uh, maybe not say, but I hope uh, that people start seeing that way more and more of us start seeing that way because I feel like lately we've done something but a bunch of assholes to one another and it's it's yeah. getting kind of old and you know I know that people are protesting and doing their thing and whatever and all that but I just wish people would think a little more and go thing you know do things a little more educated and a little yeah. more smart and you probably see a lot more things accomplished as well but um, that's yeah. true joy and peace is what we strive for. joy and peace there's a lot of chaos you know and with chaos oh. there's there's growth and struggle and stress you know, everybody yeah stress and everybody's going through their own stress and they react differently mm -hmm. to that and we got to be understanding of that and uh absolutely you know it's a time of growth my man you yeah. know growing pains as they say you know but <laughs> uh you stretch on you stretch strong and that's it well, hey, yeah. I appreciate you uh, taking time out on a Friday night, giving us some good words of wisdom, talking about uh, the plant and what you got going on with Tricome and just, you know, 
good to catch up with you. And uh, when you get back into Portland, give me a call. We'll get together and we'll hang out. That sounds wonderful, brother. I really appreciate you. Thank you for having me on and uh, continued love and prosperity to you. Uh, and I really appreciate uh, your uh, friendship and, uh, and the loyalty and uh, the love that you always continue to uh, send my way. Uh, and uh, may we all continue to see uh, better times and uh, uh, grow stronger together and, uh, you know, look back on our past and, and, and see uh, how we have progressed and, uh, uh, you know, just uh, be in our peace and our joy, brother. That's right. We keep uplifting each other. So that's what we got to keep doing. So that's it. Stay uplifted, you know, that's and it. Uh, enjoy, enjoy uh, what we got. You know, we just got to enjoy what we got. Oh, we will for sure. Well, hey, man, I, I really do appreciate you. And uh, thank you so much for hanging out here on the Justin McDonald Show on TalkCast PDX, our new digs. And uh, when you get back in town, you come hang out in the studio. Absolutely. We'll see you soon, my brother. All right. Peace out. Peace out. being my Instagram interview for this week. Right now, it's a segment I like to call My Favorite Memes. Time now for My Favorite Memes. This is the segment where we explore the shallow and quick to judge society that produces such damn funny things that are such a waste of time. Let's jump right into it. Meme number one. It was pointed out to me this week that men are wimps, and that is probably true. And this meme kind of proves it. If men had periods, yeah, I don't think we could handle that. No. Nope. Spot on, meme maker. Spot on. Good job. Let's jump to meme number two. I know this show is the no politics zone, but we don't shy away from the truth, even in a meme when we see it. And this one hit it dead bullseye. This is true. A government bought and paid for. Yeah, we need that transparency thing. It's, it's a good thing to have. And finally, we're going to jump to meme number three. I've stayed away from COVID-19 memes for a good reason, but I found this one quite amusing. That's right. Those with tiny arms can't cover their mouths or their coughs. And they could be the super spreaders like T-Rex was to the dinosaurs. These people right here. <coughs> Short arms. Come on. Full cough. <coughs> All right. That's going to do it for my favorite memes. OMG, FYI, LMFAO, and BYE.
There you have it. I know, I like to get a little weird and goof off a little bit, have some fun. I hope you like to have fun too. Thank you so much for hanging out on the Justin McDonald Show on this Friday night. I know it's quick, it's easy, it's somewhat painless. All right. Thanks again, and until next time, peace.